In sports now, it was senior night at Windsor High last night as the Wasp from Woodstock traveled to take on their host, the Yellow Jackets. Woodstock coming out in With a 16-game Jacks winning streak on the line, the table was set for an exciting night as the full house crowd anticipated the final game of the season for both teams. Because of their previous meeting a month and a half ago, Woodstock had a 12-point third quarter lead over Windsor, only to lose 67-62. Now last night, both teams battled during the first quarter with the score at 18 to 18. It was Windsor's Connor Gould, who tossed up a last second shot that banged off the glass and went in. Windsor went on a run in the second to put them up by six, but then saw a swing in Woodstock's favor, which included a shot from Dylan McDonough that would have been good in an NBA game. In a game of runs though, Woodstock led 34 to 33 at the half. The Wasp went up 57-45 on a Hunter McDonough three early in the fourth. The Jacks rallied though to make it 59-57 with only two minutes and 18 seconds to play. McDonough would miss a one and one attempt at a minute 36 left and Bradley looked like he would tie the contest from close moments later. But a whistle ended his chance to put the ball in from underneath. Windsor was unable to pull out a thrilling comeback due to Woodstock's quick defense and some strong shooting. McDonough eventually finished up with five threes on the night for 19 points. Bradley topped Windsor with 18. YCN's Jeremy Stout caught up with Woodstock coach Jeff Thomas after the game for a few of his thoughts. And coach, you got to be happy with your team's effort tonight. Oh yeah, like I just told them in the locker room, you know, it's funny, when we came out of the locker room at the beginning of the game, we said defense is going to win the game, and I think the defensive effort was unbelievable. We all knew Mike was going to get the ball at the end too, and we still still couldn't stop him. The guy's incredible. Yeah. yeah, and Kapuzinski and Bradley, you said those were going to be the key to shut them down until the fourth quarter. You had really done that, but you were able to weather that storm by some good heady play by your senior point guards. Yeah, you, you know, all, all the guards, you know, Curran, Curran McDonald did a great job tonight and Hunter McDonough on the point you know their press is unbelievable and they win a lot of games from that press and it was fortunate that we were able to uh, you know press break that tonight and there was a couple times early in the first half where we didn't we didn't look too good and you know credit to Windsor they're an unbelievable well last night's game is the YCN game of the week premiering next Wednesday at 7 30 p.m. on WYCU now taking a look at the YCN scoreboard and check out some other local results in Division Three NHI AA Nordic Skiing, first place went to Kearsarge Regional High School. After a bridesmaid performance last year, the Cougars were led to the victory altar behind a pair of individual titles from senior Kaylee Davis. The Cougars totaled 775 points to top Bowes 757 and a Fall Mountain third at 702. Meanwhile, White Mountains racked in 697, Guilford 355, and Belmont 172 to round up the field. Congratulations to the Cougar girls for this outstanding championship. 